we're doing is a real tribute to these guys. What we want to try and do in this little way that we're doing it is to try and keep their memory alive and what they did and the sacrifices that they made. We'd like to keep that alive for future generations and try and pass this on. I would be lying to you if I were to say this was on par with airline operations or something. Anytime you're flying an aircraft this old or uh, in an air show environment, um, obviously the, the risk factor is a little higher there, but uh, we, we take the job fairly seriously trying to bring the aircraft uh, to the masses and also for the few veterans who are still alive, it's sort of to honor them. So we weigh all that out. Uh, I'm honored to do it. It's a blast to fly the airplane, but we do it in a, in a safe manner. and. Uh, it's, it's like anything else in life, uh, the time that we give to this, the money that uh, we spend on it, and uh, any risk that we take is balanced by our, our passion for what we're doing, you know, and in my case, it's, it's a no-brainer. I'm going to come out here and do this until I can any longer. Okay. There aren't many people that even know warbirds still exist, let alone still fly. So to be able to take that to, you know, other communities and, and show them what they can do is, is amazing. Each of these aircraft have a soul of their own. And if it stops flying, it's just like we stop living. You know, we want to be able to keep flying them.